Hi guys, how you doing? So I'm just getting onto the Carrick now. Uh, thanks to BZ, thank you very much. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just working out as I go along. That's clearly an escape pod. That's how I want to see a star map. Okay, so... Oh, I'm back exactly where I came in. Brilliant. So I came in overlooking the hangar door. Reminds me of an actual ship. Alright, so... Where should we go? Technical... None of them say bridge. Hello, mate. Okay. That's a turret, I think. Engineering. Yeah, I don't know why I thought going through engineering would hold a bridge. But uh, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Looks like the cool bits inside the hammerhead. Uh, yeah, of course. What was I thinking? Yeah, I know that's not a door. Life support. Fuel tank. Ladders. Oh lord. You don't go up them when you want to, and when you walk past one from 10 metres away, it sucks you up like it's got its own fucking gravity. More people joining the Carrick. That's the hangar. I still think I'm one floor too high up. Yes, so this is the upper bridge uh, with the two support seats that you can't get in, I don't think. Getting down. We go to the actual bridge. There we go. And I can get in there. Brilliant. There's my saber. One of many ships that just flood towards a Carrick. I mean, I only came to see it because I had every intention of stealing it. Um, Bizo, I think, wanted that, which was very cool of him. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I wanted to see if you can actually land at Port Olisar, like if you request landing, because I know it's a large ship. Uh, it did grant permission. I decided to auto land because I wanted to see if that worked. And as you can tell, uh, sort of does. I thought, oh, is it going to land us at an angle? Being really cool. Uh, but no, I think it's just got problems. So it sort of lines you up, goes down, but you can't actually land a Carrick. So the feet touch the pad, but it doesn't seem to register that it's landed and stabilise. Sort of like landing on an asteroid. Which is a bit annoying. Nearly ran someone over. There's John getting in. Quick, close the door before they have a... Yes, sorry mate. So yeah, giving up on the whole landing thing. I uh, just wanted to get out and uh, see what's going on. See it outside of uh, Port Alyssa. Oh, it is rather beautiful. I don't know whether those graphic glitches are by video card or Star Citizen or the Carrick. God knows. So I sort of landed here, but it's not an actual landing. It's. it's sort of floating on the ground, if that makes sense. There's me, Callum and John. We got our ship. There's no one else on the ship. There were other people, but uh, you can see Callum's got his little pistol and John's got his heavy armour and has gone guns blazing. 
So if I just have a look, see what we got. Super drive Mercury, loads of Rhino laser repeaters. Obviously, none of these can be used from the actual pilot seat, so you do 100% need other people with you if you're going to be doing any sort of combat. But it's a brilliant trading ship. I mean, people who use Caterpillars don't use their weapons. Why would you? They're like size shit. So, um, and it's quite beautiful. But I don't know really what you'd do with it as a solo player, apart from, you know, do what people with 890 jumps do and say, come and look at my ship. And then after a few weeks of it being in the verse, people go, I don't care, mate. Really wanted to get in that turret because that looks cool. Reminds me of a hammerhead again. But uh, I've got to look around. I do love the detail they've put in here. Although it does look very samey. Uh, I feel that they could do with a few more things to sort of make you feel that you're in a certain part. This is back to engineering again. I have no idea why I'm going here. I, I know what's down here. I've done this before. You get the ladder down and then you get lift back up. <laughs> Idiot. Oh no, fuel tank. Again. Seen that. I clearly missed it and wanted to just spend a bit more time with it. Yeah, I like the physical eyes buttons. So I think you only really need a little bit of time to work out where everything is. Get a little map set in your head. Mind you, I still get lost in uh, the staff errors. Escape pods and uh, back to the upper bridge. There's the command station. Get out. There's Callum looking for stowaways even though we are the stowaways. Yeah, <laughs> I do like this ship, it is very nice. It's like a combination of a Hammerhead, Andromeda, Caterpillar, and another one which I can't think of right now. And down to beautiful Microtech. So we got a new ship in new content. So at the moment, Callum and John have got a crime stat. And uh, what us noobs like to do is get full on crime stats, go somewhere pretty on Microtech, wait 10 minutes, and uh, get out on foot and watch people turn up, try to shoot us. And we find that fun. But this is PTU and the character's just sort of semi-released. So nobody's going to be doing bounties, people just want to see carrots. So um, this was pointless, but yeah, it's beautiful. Why did you run out of the ship like that? No, I, I ran just like down the ship. Yeah. I'm trying to land again. Everything looks to be sort of lined up. But again, you can't land. Okay, so we need to get crime stats again. He's going to be here when you land. I did think it was my poor skills, but no, it just doesn't do it. So the only way to really land is do this and turn the engine off. <laughs> Bounce a little bit. But uh, it just keeps saying, land to complete, land to complete, land to complete, land to complete. And I can really do your head in. So I'm going away from that. Little glitch there. Medical flashing off and on on the door. 
I just went in there just to save, just in case anything happens. Don't seem to be able to use this seat, but I don't know whether it's because it's not my ship um, and it's locked or something. So you wouldn't know there's actually glass there if it wasn't for the little drops of uh, melted snow on the screen, on the window. I feel that there should be something there, like so you can see that it's glass, maybe some reflections or just a tiny bit of dirt. Every other ship in the game, uh, even though you get a brand new ship, it looks like it's been sitting on a main road for six months, covered in shit. And then you get this where you can't even tell there's a window there. So if we could get somewhere in between, that'd be nice. Or maybe, after time, it, it starts accumulating crap. I don't know. There we go. <clears throat> Landing gear up. I kind of like that somebody rammed off uh, the side of the ship. Makes it feel a bit more Star Warsy. <laughs> I actually thought that was the design uh, until I repaired. Yeah, look at that, it's gorgeous. I do wish it had them like spiky, sticky outy bits that it had, a bit like aerials, you know, uh, on the concepts. But, I don't know. Because it does just look a bit plain, sort of like a bus. But then it's it's Anvil. It's not Drake. Um, it doesn't look like it's been cobbled together. It looks like it's been designed well. Lovely chubby space penis. That's what it is. Right, so um, I want to go to Levski because we haven't got any guns or armor because we haven't played this PTU since the last full wipe. Um, but we need to refuel first. So let's see, can we refuel? Can we repair? It flies like a cross between a hammerhead and a caterpillar. So it does what you want, slowly. But it doesn't oversteer or anything, it's, it feels really quite nice. So, um, I can't actually record with the Mobby Glass open, it causes my AMD drivers to crash and I have to restart my computer before I can record again. So you'll never see me use the Mobby Glass, but I was able to repair and to refuel. So, oh, yeah, they need to work on that ramp. The ramp doesn't seem to have any collision the moment it opens. So I wanted to get my Pisces. And gonna take that down to the Carrick. Hey Pisces. All right, let's get up to it. There we go, open those doors. Let me in. Like a glove. All right. Let's see if we can remember how to get back to the bridge. It feels that way. It's quite intuitive. Sort of. It is not intuitive at all. No, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Stop being tempted by other doors. You know where you're going. Come on. Yeah, you can't use these seats. Again, I don't know whether it's because they can't be used, it always stopped my ship. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful thing. Right, so we're on our way to Delima. And now we're at Delima. And uh, out we go. Perfect. Yeah, I might have cut that a little bit. And you don't need to see me go shopping, because uh, you know what that's like. So, got my heavy armour, which I'm going to need because 
people have gone mad today. It's like a full moon. Cool, so I just got back to the carrot. There's a few people around, including a retaliator. Remember, the other two people on the ship have got bounties. Um, one of, yeah, so the retaliator. I wanted to get away from that. So, bye, Danimar. And hello, Port Olisa. So, <laughs> look at that. Like, flies on shit. Except it's not shit. And if it is, it's a beautiful shit. Look at that. It's so funny. <laughs> it just gets worse. It's like they're trying to mate with it. I kept opening the doors here because I thought, you know, people want to see the Carrick. There's been lots of people crying about it. Um, but what happens? We get on. People die. Uh, my two friends got shot. Uh, not for bounty or anything, just because there were people there. And uh, I don't think you just saw it, but somebody tried to kill me with a shotgun. Someone's just tried to ram me there with a uh, cutlass. And uh, so fuck everybody. Uh, Shit to ass. Um, yeah, that was dedicated to all the people who were asking on the 1st of February for a Carrick in every sort of forum, every chat. Shut up, it's still February. I thought I'd have a look and see the leftovers, and you've got the cargo pods here. Um, but yeah, they've got no collision, it's just visual debris. And that's the end of that. Uh, straight to bed. See you later.